Can you share with us any problems you've had with the worm farms and, and how you dealt with those? One of the problems you may come across is the worm farm may become smelly. That's because you've overfed the worms, so you need to stop feeding them for a few days and just give them some torn newspaper and that will balance it out. The most likely cause for a smelly worm farm is overfeeding. Too much food will simply decompose and smell bad. To fix this, add some dry, carbon-rich material such as shredded newspaper, straw or autumn leaves. To avoid this happening in the future, check your worm farm regularly and only feed the worms when the previous food has been consumed. It is better to underfeed than overfeed the worms. They'll be fine for a few days without feeding, but very unhappy if overfed as the worm farm becomes a bit toxic. Worms sometimes even try to escape if there's too much decomposing food. A worm farm in good health should smell earthy. And is there anything else you look out for? Yes, overwatering. The worms don't need to be watered that often and you can tell just by looking at it to see if it's dry or not. A worm farm that is too wet will produce soggy and often smelly castings. Usually there is enough moisture from the decomposing fruit and vegetable scraps to keep the worm farm moist. Students should only add water if it feels or looks dry. Some schools make a worm tea. This avoids overwatering a worm farm to try and make worm whiz. Worm tea is also of a much higher quality. Our website has information on making worm tea. It's fun too. And what happens with the worms, um, the worm farms during the holidays? Well, just before the holidays, we will check and give them some extra food, make sure that it is nice and, and moist for them, and we leave them to have a two week holiday. Oh. Some schools like to give their worms to families that also have worm farms at their homes. After the holidays, the worms are returned. Other schools prefer to take care of the worms at school. During the two week breaks, it's enough to give them their usual feed of fruit and vegetable scraps and cover them with plenty of shredded damp newspaper. During the six week summer break, schools who leave their worms at school ask parent volunteers to visit once per week to feed the worms and ensure they are happy in their environment. Other minor issues that may occur with worm farms include unwanted visitors such as ants and spiders. Solutions to these can be found on our website.